Hey guys, it's Carl CDC, and uh, we're gonna do a top 10 video. I went on Instagram and I asked people, what do you think it was the knife of the year? Uh, the year 2019. This one will be released in 2020 just because I did it too late. It was it was one of those ideas that came to me pretty late. It should be pretty recent. It should still be pretty relevant. And I'm going to title it Top 10 Knives uh, According to Instagram. The first one, and I'm going to be doing the video in the office, a normal setting, top down style as well. I just wanted to show a little bit of my last day in 2019 because for me, today is New Year's Eve. Let's get right to the video. Uh, the first one that I want to show is the Spiderco Smock right here. I made a full review on it, also link right in the corner. And I love this knife. A lot of people mentioned it uh, along with, uh, let's let's wait, let's wait. for. <laughs> but yeah, the Smock was one of those um, very special, very dramatic knives. Dramatic because the community was waiting for it for a long time. A lot of people pre-order it. I did not. I didn't even buy one. I borrowed one for the review. It was a phenomenal knife. Great action. Uh, a great slicer. Hollow grind. Carbon fiber over G10 kind of deal. Great, great freaking knife. And along with that Spyderco, there was other Spydercos. We're going to talk about those later. But another knife that was mentioned was the CVV Gent and the CVV McKenna. And my own addition to this is going to be the CVV Anthropos. So we're going to do all three at the same time, okay? Two of them were uh, Elijah Items Designs. One of them I gave a full review. I owned this knife for a long, long time. He eventually ended up trading up for a PM2 in S35VN. The knife I carry most often uh, it doesn't mean that the anthropos was not a good knife i just felt like a like a change so i went for the pm2 again just because i love these carbon fiber scales full review of the anthropos right here i might be pointing in the wrong way great freaking knife they all feature uh i think the mckenna the anthropos feature d2 i'll i'll annotate the metal on the gent for everybody and and the instagram said that and I'll put handles right here for, for you, if you guys want to go follow these people who made their suggestions. These three knives are from CVV, which is a sister company to we, or a daughter company. I don't know. I'm going to be moving this now to the office setup that most of you already know. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Uh, this is a very casual top 10. Uh, 2020 I'll do a no, uh, very professional one today I just felt like shooting a video you know it's like the last freaking day of 2019 so it's kind of a bloggy top 10 I like it you guys also like it subscribe if you're new subscribe let's get to the freaking office now so we're in the office now and I've been calling the gent uh, when I should have been saying CVV Elementum this is why you need to take note, and this is why I bought a notebook cover. So Caleb Jackson, D. Caleb Jackson said that CVV, anything CVV made, uh, CJRB, and PM3 Lightweight. Now, I have a full review of the PM3 Lightweight link right here, or here, I don't know. It's my wife's uh, rings, she's making tamales right now, so I'm wearing them. Anywho, so for the CJRB, the one I'm nominating here is gonna be the Centros. That thing is, <laughs> pretty cool it came out pretty late in 2019 so i'm still gonna call it uh in because a lot of people love that thing there's so many reviews out there i'll try and link one right here i can only do five links per video so i don't know might not link it it was pretty cool you can get it in carbon fiber or g10 and they all have d2 steel and for the premium 3 lightweight i love that thing uh, black frn now there's an m390 and red frn out there so I'm waiting for another sprint run. Uh, something in crewwear would be cool. I don't know, something in M4 would be cool. Uh, yeah, that's that would be number four and number five. Texas Blade says Smock, Kapara. And I already mentioned the uh, Smock earlier. Kapara is one of the knives that I really wanted to check out in 2019. I'm not going to be doing that because uh, 2019 is over. I'm going to be doing that uh, 2020 when you're watching this. A friend of mine offered to uh, send one over, so we're going to be checking one of those out. Pretty excited. Jacob CDC says Gen 4 Arius. Now, I've heard a, a, a ton of great things about it. The Arius is a wonderful, wonderful knife. The Mini Goblin too, nobody mentioned it, but I'm gonna. The Mini Goblin is just super cool looking, and they have so many variations of it. The Arius too. The Conic Arius. And Conic Mini Goblin. Now my boy uh, Gunner EDC 
Hey Gunner says anything CVV and Hogue. So again, we already did three CVVs at the beginning of this list for the Hogue. I'm gonna mention the Deca. My my boy Alex Play Brigade also mentioned uh, the Deca and another knife we'll talk about it right now. The Deca is one of those knives that I've said before. I really want to own in 2020. I'm very excited to see the different variations of it. Right now they have a tan one and a blue one. 20 CV blade G10. The Able Lock, which is basically an access lock that they say has improved spring on it uh we'll see alex blade brigade said hogue and he said uh cv elementum they're up there on the on that list of top 10 but he also mentioned the hogue dr rsk is it's got a beautiful g10 it's got a 20 cv blade it is made incredibly well by hogue I've held a lot of hoes. That one would be cool to check out, but I'm, I'm not going to be seeking it out. I'm interested in others. The DECA, however, the DECA I'm really interested in. Finally, Mi Photo from Instagram says the Shaman Crucarda. So it's the Shaman uh, in my Carta and Crewwear that uh, sold out extremely fast. I really wanted one. I wasn't able to secure one. I was at work when it came out and they kept coming out and I kept missing them because they would sell out in seconds. Uh, Spyderco did say they were going to make a different a metal shaman with my Cardo scales. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully I can get one. They're really hard to get. Uh, I understand uh, Mr. Nick Chavez constantly uh, talking smack about sprint runs. And I get it because FOMO is a real thing. I'd love to own one, but I just, I just I can't put... I can't bring myself to uh, buy an S30V one and then buy scales for it. I mean, you're talking about so much money and you still end up with S30V, which is a solid steal. It's just not my thing. A a anytime I can upgrade, I, I, I try and do so. But yeah, uh, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if uh, this style of video is something uh, you're looking forward to or something I shouldn't do. But yeah, this was Top 10 Knives. Uh, top 10 knives according to Instagram and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great 2020 I apologize I don't apologize